Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today our job, our lesson is La Ikra's the Salt Desert by Keki and Daruwala. Today we have to perform the term and exercise <coughs> page number 101. Hope <coughs> you <coughs> have a pen and a rough with you and Hope you will know down along with me. <coughs> yes, students. First question is why has the lesson been titled Law Across the Salt Desert? Why is the desert called a salt desert? Yes, students. The lesson has been titled Law Across the Salt Desert. Most appropriately, because a law, because a lover, namely Najaf, from India crosses the desert, bearing lots of hardship to bring his sweetheart Fatima from across the border. Now, second part: Why is this desert called a salt desert? This desert is called a salt desert because it is sand, was saltish in taste. Besides being dry and desolate. Now question second. Off top of this measure, have you brought anything? Do you think off top was happy when he saw Fatima? <coughs> yes, students, off top was really very upset on his son's escape. When he saw Najab with his beloved Fatima, he was very happy because Fatima's arrival proved very auspicious. It rained on her arrival and the three years three years drought ended. And the three year three year three years drought ended. Yes, students. Now question number three. The story ends with the coming of the rain that saved away three years of drought. Do you think this helps? This helps Fatima in being welcomed into her new home. Yes, students. Ah, uh, yes, you are correct. Ah, uh, Najab's village was under a terrible drought for three, three successive years. The arrival of Fatima brings rain to the joy of the people. Since coming of rain coincides with the coming of Fatima as a bride, so it helps Fatima in being welcomed into her house. The rain is a symbol of love from across the border. Yes, students. Question number four. How does the drought affect the following? Earth, camel, oxen, cattle. Yes, or oh, the drought affects the following as under earth. You know, it has cracked, it has cracked and lies like a paralyzed monster. Camel, it alone survived, feeding on the bowel, hormone. Third, oxen, the oxen died due to shortage of water and fodder. And fourth, cattle. They became thin and weak. Now, question number five. Why was Najab's father worried about Najab's future? Really, Najab's father, Aftab, was worried about Najab's future because he used to say that the boy would waste away all his wealth. He being too shy to change even, to charge even yet. To charge even for what he sold. Further, Najab crossed the border without Zaman's permission. Zaman, the chief smuggler, would get Najab arrested or killed. This was apprehension of Najab's father. Now, next question: Why was Najab? Why was a visit to Kala Dunga important for the people of Hauda? Hauda. Yes, people would go there to pay homage and seek the blessings of Pir Fatmi 
on the hilltop before setting before setting on before setting out for the journey yes next question Yes, dear students. Next question is. Wale tum sara. Next question is. Was the trade that was carried on across the border legal? Give a reason for your answer. Was the trade legal? No, certainly your answer is correct. The trade across the border was illegal. The people were petty. Petty means simple. Petty means which has which has some small value. The people were petty smugglers. They smuggled Indian goods into Pakistan and Pakistani goods into India with the consent of some agents and authorities. They encouraged the social evils like bribery. So it was not legal. It was illegal. Yes. Next question. When he heard about his son's disappearance, what was Aftab's first suspicion? Aftab ka pehla shak kya tha? Yes, his first suspicion was that his son Najib had made a foray across the run of Kutch into Sindh, Pakistan. Question number nine: What made Aftab suspect like his? That his wife knew about Najib was going away. Yani Aftab ne kyun shak kiya ki Najib uski biwi ka isme hissa tha. Ah, there are two things. First thing is facial expression. Second, the golden breast, gold bracelet was missing. Yes, student, the facial expression of his wife and her bare arm. Without the gold bracelet, made off top suspect that his wife was aware about Najib's escapade. Yes, students. What made off top sus? Zaman was. Zaman, Zaman, Zaman was an important person in the village and was called the chief because. You have to take the correct option. The correct option is yes, C part. He arranged the smuggling trips across the border and had close contacts with officials on both the sides. Then there is written again question number ten. Oh, what was the man's reaction to it? Najib's. What was the man's? Yes, what was Zaman's reaction to Najib's absence from the village? Zaman ka kya raj amal tha? Jab Najib gaay the is gaon se aur kyun? Yes, Zaman was Zaman was extremely angry because Najib, who was thought very innocent or shy, did not take Zaman's permission. To cross the border, or paid a hundred rupee note to him. Now question eleven. Ah, uh, it is a true/false question. Absence of a man and a camel from the village was significant because say true or false. A part. It means that someone had gone across the border. Yes. Ah, uh, it is true. It means someone had come into the country. Yes, it is false. It means that camel could be confiscated, means seized or robbed by the officials. It is false. It is false. Yes, dear students. Now on next page, question number twelve. Fatima, <coughs> Fatima says, "Just my luck to run into mute." Who are the mutes she refers to? Why does she make this statement? 
Firstly, you know, Fatima was getting engaged to Mahfuz Ali, who was known for his blood speech. While her lover, Najab, was also shy and diffident. So these two were the mute. So she says this statement and the two mute wire. Number one, Mahfuz Ali and number two, Najab Hussain. These were the two mute. Uh, you know mute, mute means speech killer, who cannot speak correctly uh, or who keeps mum. Now question number 13. Najam knew that Fatima loved him because is the right, right answer. Yes, you are correct. She made suggestive gestures. Uh, usne wo body movements ke zirye ishara diya. Now, question number 14. Was Kalisha happy to see Najib? How did Najib win his trust? Kalisha was not happy to see Najib. Why? Because Najib had come unannounced first without a, without a tender leave second and dragging the police behind him third. But Najib won Kalisha's trust. Why? by showing the golden bracelet in in place of clothes so he acted very tactfully uh, now question number 14 question number 15 sorry though fatima belonged to a different country she did not hesitate in eloping. Eloping means bagna. In eloping with a boy from another country. Give two reasons. You have to do Yes. First, she didn't want to marry Mahfuz Ali, who stammered and stuttered. Second, she was quite happy with handsome Najaf, a true lover. For her, because true love knows knows no barriers or boundaries. Yes, you do that. Question number 16. Fatima calls Najab a mute. Yet he proposes to her. Agar ek taraf se usko mute kehti hai, dousri taraf usko wo propose karti hai. How does he do that? How does he do that? <coughs> Naja was completely drawn to the paragon of beauty hood. Oh, Naja jo wo mukammal tor uska ishq ho gaya tha, uski ragbat thi kiske saath jo paragon of beauty yani hood thi Fatima. He embraced her passionately and promised that he will come again to take her away. Now, next, why did people of Kauda welcome Fatima with open arms? The people of Kauda welcomed Fatima with open arms because their three years' drought was over, 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 on the day when she arrived, when Fatima arrived. Now, next is, now, next is why the writer has the writer has the writer has used a number of colorful phrases to describe Fatima's beauty. To describe Fatima's beauty, find expression to describe the following. Yes, eyes. How are eyes described? You see. You see in the lesson. So bright that they would have lit up the darkness of the underworld. Or like a pair of storm lanterns in the dark. Similarly, here uh, it is described with the expression, whose here was the night itself. Similarly, her lotter. Yes. Whose lotter had the timber, T I M B R E, timber means sound, timber of ankle bells. 
yes eyebrows eyebrows whose eyebrows were like black wisps of the night and lost her smell her smell whose smell of clothes and cinnamon these are the expressions we describe fatima's eyes hair water eyebrows and smell now next najab as described in early part of the story najab we see in the later part of the story they are different they are different before the sit of the for the journey after the journey yes dear students before the journey across the desert najab is described as quite handsome and very shy by nature after the journey after the journey he proved to be successful heroic and fearless this is made possible by the flame of true love within ye jo mohabbat ka shola andar se utha usi ki wajah se ye mumkin hua ki wo successful bhi hue heroic bhi sabit hue aur bekho bhi sabit hue now next question zaman of tab and kalisha why all in war in the same trade yet they were different in many ways compare them ah oh, dear students zaman kalisha and ofta were all smugglers this is their common point but zaman was a rogue and dangerous person he bribed the officials from both sides ofta and kalisha were not dangerous ofta was not as greedy as kalisha and zaman this is their these are their similarities and these are their differences now dear students complete the following statement najab set out his journey from his village in kya naam tha uska yes you are right fawda he first his first half was his first halt was at yes kala dungar because he wanted to pay homage to peer to panchmi peer or panchmi peer third he left kala dungar in the night on the last village on the indian side of border was koran k u r n koran the area between two countries was covered with savanna savanna you know these are the grasslands now okay please report hope students you are attentive the vocabulary part is in each of the following sets of words one word is opposite in meaning to the other three yani teen three words hai unka opposite hai wo opposite hame kya karna hai underline the word which is opposite in meaning us word ko hame underline karna hai dekho emaciated withered skeletal uh emaciated means kamzor withered means sukha hua skeletal means jisko sirf hariya ho healthy means sehat mein to kaun sa word aayega correct to you or so our proper word is healthy likewise a uh, b broad is bizarre ordinary and weird yes you are correct it is ordinary your answer Rigid, tracked, hiked, rested. Yes, your word is rested. You are so correct. Oh, recalls you, introverted, outgoing, shy. Yes, your word is outgoing. <coughs> Now, dear students, she agrees, pleases, annoys, irritates. Oh. Yes, your word is please. You are correct. Willy, clever, shrewd, and simple. Yes, your answer simple is correct. Obscenities, curses, expletives, and blessings. Yes, you are so correct. Your answer is blessings. It is correct. Sikandar, save, fit, fitter away, and suffered. Your word, your answer is saved. It is correct. Odyssey journey voyage errand 
first three are similar in meaning and third one is a oh, you are correct you are correct <clears throat> now let us move to the let us move to the listening part hope Oh, hope you have read out a letter trick from the lesson placing Najibul journey across the border to Fajman's house. Oh, now our job is to fill in the blank sentences given below. Oh, let us start. First one is Najib started his journey from his village in. Just now you have filled it. Yes, it is K H A V D A Kauda. Second one is his first halt what was at Kala Dungar. He because he wanted to dash. <coughs> he wanted to pay homage to P Panchami Peer. Third, he left Kala Dungar in the <coughs> night. <coughs> oh yes number four on page 105 the lost village on the indian side of the border was yes it is Quran. you are correct number five the area between the two countries was covered with savanna and the savanna means grass field so it is correct savanna Najab took the help of Daesh to find his way. Took the help of Sitar to find his way over the vast sandy desert. <coughs> <coughs> yes, six. Najab took the help of Sitar to find his way across the vast sandy desert. Seven, just before dawn, Najab arrived at which place? Karbila, which was about dash miles from his destination. Ten miles. Ten miles. Next, Najab's journey took him across the international boundary. Pillar number 1066. 1066. Yes, number nine. He had to be very careful at this point because of the Indian rangers who could have easily spotted him from their two watch towers at Dash and Dash. Name the two places. First place is Jagtarai, J A J A G T A R A I. Second place is Zingu, Zingu, Ringu, D I N G O O R. <coughs> now, Ken, his luck deserted him when he was supported by the Rangers who then chased him across the run for almost a day, for almost a mile and fired at him. Eleven, he was however saved due to dash that arose, due to sitar and that arose, shielding him from his hunters. Last number twelve, finally it was about dash. When he reached the outskirts of Fajma's village, it was the These fill in the blanks are according to the listening expect given at the end of the book. Now, dear student, now let us try study skills. Answer these questions and check your answers with the help of the dictionary. Dear student, nocturnal is something happening or active during the night. For example, bird owl. It is active during night, so bird, so owl is an owl is a nocturnal bird. Now, what is our job? What word would you, what word would you use to describe something happening over a period of day? Yes, you are correct. It is durinal, D-U-R-I-N-A-L. 
Second, what is the difference between mouthing and saying? Yes, students, mouthing means the act of shaping words as a sign of language. <coughs> the act of shaping the act of shaping words as a sign, S I G N sign, as a sign language. As a sign language. Uh, now what is saying? A saying is a proverb. In Urdu we say Kahawat ya zarbul misal or makes them M A X I M. Now third, what is a what is a recluse? R E C L U S E. A recluse means isolated like a hermit or monk. Jo tanha beta hai. A calendar ki tara, a sadhu ki tara. Now, number four. Which do you think will be larger? Kon bada hoga. A pilum of smoke or a cloud of smoke? Bata ye. Oh, pilum chota, cloud bada. So, a pilum, a cloud of smoke is, is bigger or larger. Thick, a cloud of smoke. What is difference between what is difference between yes what is difference between the difference between emin, emancipated and initiated yes. Yes, here is number four. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry, question. Uh, we have forgotten question number four. Which of these can you elicit? Elicit means evoke or provoke. Put a tick against the right one. Yes, certainly. Response and information. Now question number five, we do you think will be larger? A film of smoke, cloud of smoke. Now, next question, what is the difference between emancipated and emaciated? Emancipated means set free and emaciated means, means become skin due to hunger or disease. Who ki waja se koi patla ho jata hai, kamzor ho jata hai, bimari ke waja se. <coughs> yes, it is mentioned in the lesson that moment was too big for them. Moment was too big for them. What do you, what does big stand for in this sentence? This sentence may be cut your money. Yes, kiss the girl estimate. Surely it is important. So your answer is important. What is difference between difference in the meaning of cost? In cost him his heels and it cost him five rupees. Shabash in first expression cost him his heels. Here cost means suffer. Cost means loss. Cost means injury. Now in second expression it cost him five rupees. Here cost means amount of money. Yani usko kharcha laga paanch rupay. Amount of money. Yani paise ki kitni ra. Oh, now last one. Pay homage and pay a salary. Have two different meanings. Find the difference between the two. Pay homage and pay a salary. In the first part, pay homage. It means pay respect or show respect. And in expression, pay a salary. Here it means give money or give wages. Give wages. Uh, I feel today it is enough. 
uh, inshallah we meet we will meet on 11th of june at 2 pm